Plainsmen have a tall task this week, taking on the top-ranked Sheridan Bronx Friday night at DTI Stadium. It is a 6 p.m. kickoff, and well, coming off that South win, good to get a win. You're three and four. You're kind of in the mix, trying to jockey for playoff position. So that makes every game important. What'd you learn about the South game? What'd you take away from it? You know, a win is good, David. Just like you said. But again, we're just learning where our mistakes are still. You know, we're trying to clean things up. We got a tough games, two games ahead of us right now in Sheridan, right here in front of us Friday night. And we're just figuring out some things that we need to do. And honestly, what was exciting about that was the kids weren't satisfied how we won the game. And that was initiated by them. It really was. Some kids have asked them for extra time during lunch and film time, some conversations with their coaches. Some coaches came out early with some other coaches to work on some individual stuff. So it was exciting to see the guys engage in that. How have you gotten ready this week for Sheridan and a really good team? Yeah, you know, every team has to do with this adversities and stuff. We dealt with the weather on Monday. We're dealing with staff meetings and faculty and all that teaching stuff that we have to do as coaches. But we had a lot of other coaches, like I said, step up and pull kids aside and work individually with some different position groups this week. So I spent a lot of different time this week working with individuals during individual positions before practice even started and after practice. And some leadership really happened this week. And again, I think it was just something that clicked with some of the boys, understanding that we're down to the crunch right now with two games. And they've been asking a lot of questions and wanting to put in some extra time. And like I said, that's exciting. It's number one. You got to get up for a team like this. So what does Sheridan look like? What, what is Don bringing to town here? Talking about Coach Julian. Yeah, Don's bringing a full gamut of all three phases. You know, you go through as a scout. We're scouting them on the weekend. We're trying to break them down. Where can we exploit them offensively, defensively, special teams? I'm like, my goodness, they're solid everywhere. Then you go statistic and look to see who are the personnel that we need to take care of. And everybody's sitting in the top three, top four, top two, in every category. The return game, the kicker, the punter, the defense, the offense. So they're balanced. So we have to just be consistent. We have to play balanced. we got to understand that we have faith in ourselves that we can do it. And we need to come out and compete. And that's what we're learning to do is compete better. Your defense has come along here in the last month or so, started to play better. Obviously, you need them to play well to kind of hold down that Sheridan offense. So does that put more onus on our offense Friday night? Uh, definitely, definitely. Our offense has got to have some time of possession. The best thing for our defense, the best way we can defend our offense is to keep them off the field. So our offense has got to have some time of possession. We've got to limit the turnovers. We've got to sustain some drives. We need 8, 10, 11 play drives. Is that doable against the Sheridan defense? Well, I like to believe that anything's doable. So as long as we come out with some confidence and we have some faith in each other and some you know, we trust the brother to the left of us and trust the brother to the right of us. We're going to come out, we're going to execute, and we're going to give it our all, you know, on Friday night. So. Turnovers have been a little bit of an issue. How have you addressed that? What, what's maybe the best way to remedy nine in the last two games? You know, I try to be positive with the kids in the sense of saying, you know, I understand we're trying to make plays. You're trying to go 100%. You're trying to give us everything we, that we want from you. But understand taking care of the ball, understanding the time of possession that we need and how valuable that ball is to us, understanding down and distance and what we need to do when we're trying to break for that extra yard and what situation it is, because holding that ball is very, very valuable to us. Do you get a sense this team is relishing taking on number one? I mean, this is a pretty good team that's on a pretty good roll right now, back-to-back -back state titles, they're trying to make it three straight. I mean, do you get a sense that this Laramie team, that your guys, are gearing up, they, they want this challenge in number one? I believe that's happening. Just like I said, by the engagement, the conversations, okay. them asking for extra film time, lunch time. Um, I think the coaches are excited. I know I am. I get excited for the big games. I really do. You want to see where you are. Where's that barometer? Where do you measure up? I know we've struggled up and down. It's been a roller coaster. But it's time to buckle up, strap up, and get after it with the number one team this Friday. It's the Plains into the Bronx. Good luck to you, Coach Reed. Appreciate you, it. Sir. And it's a 6 o'clock kickoff. For Don Hooks and I will have the radio broadcast call starting at 5 p.m. on KOWB. You can listen to our stream online or on our new KOWB app. You can download it in the App Store or Google Play. Plainsman against the top-ranked Sheridan Bronx. Lemmy's coming in 3-4, and four. Sheridan 7-0, and oh, and on a lengthy winning streak. And that includes in the series. We'll see if the Plainsman can take down the Bronx Friday night at DTI Stadium.